we're going to talk about a happier example, which is what's happening in Portland, where I have uh, three, a sequence of three major open spaces linked by uh, passageways uh, that were when we first started at the edge of downtown Portland and now are a major part of downtown Portland. And uh, we also did a, uh, a transit mall, which is not under consideration for concern. But these others, again, do it the same way uh, they were at the edge of downtown and now, since they are uh, surrounded by new development, there is some concern that they may uh, be in the, in the quote way. That hasn't yet happened, but there is concern about it, particularly on the part of uh, people who own buildings around these open spaces who are desperately anxious to keep them and the open space that we designed for it. Well, the day it was opened was hysterically exciting because what happened was that it was in the 60s. All the young people from miles around appeared on the scene and started jumping in to the fountains. As I say, they were designed to be uh, used in that way, participated in. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was the mayor who got very upset and try to shoo them away, and I therefore decided that the best thing to do was not argue with the mayor, so I jumped in also. <laughs> and it was all very successful, and very, very jolly, actually, and there was a lot of fun about it. And it really did establish the notion that this was a different kind of a park than the usual kind of a park. I was called back to Portland about 10 years ago some 20 years after the project had been built uh, because the Parks Department had some concerns about the growth of the trees. Again, there had been some problems that some of the pumps needed uh, fixing. Uh, there was a feeling that the park had become too introverted uh, because uh, some of the trees in the berms uh, were had all grown up, so I developed a, a report which basically identified the trees that should be changed. Uh, we decided to modify the berms a little bit, and it all seemed so obvious and so simple, and therefore we didn't lose the part of the parks. Now that's a simple, so easy and elegant, and dignified and polite, and uh, and economically sound as well. And now, uh, following through with that, this conservancy has been, it's been set up in perpetuity, I gather, to do the same thing for that series of parks constantly without having to constantly ask me about what to do and to fend off the answer which is cut off his head instead of giving him a haircut. And I think that's a wonderful solution to it. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Uh, inexpensive. For, on every level. Socially sound, because the parks are very much, much admired. And I don't see any reason why that couldn't be a role model for almost everybody uh, on how to handle a thing like that.